Hey Ken folks, so that's it for today. Um, did a lot today, or I got one major thing off the list is the tiller, getting the, the arm here all uh, set up and ready to go. And it works, I pulled a bunch of kids in this thing earlier today just to make sure that the, uh, I could turn, I could go fast, I could stop, all the uh, necessary things that uh, I needed that thing to do. And um, I fixed the issue here. I'm just putting this ratchet strap here to keep it nice and tight. And uh, yeah, hey, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a uh, close up of what, uh, what happened today. Okay, so this board was um, cut a little too long on this side and it was pushing this board outwards. And what I had done was uh, just shaved off what I could with a chisel and with the uh, Japanese pole saw to clear away as much as I can. And uh, then I just glued it back up and put it back together. It looks pretty good right now. Um, that's not going to close, but it's, it is what it is. And nobody's really going to see it. And I think it adds a bit to the, uh, the character of the, uh, the whole wagon. Yeah, and so uh, I was able to close that back up. I used this uh, ratchet strap here to pull on it. I don't have a clamp long enough for this whole bench, but this worked out pretty well. So yeah, we got the uh, tiller up and running, but we still have more to do. Um, we still have to put another piece down there. Uh, the piece I had ended up busting, so we got to make a new one. Uh, but yeah, this this tiller works out pretty well. Hey Ken folks, so after working all day on the tiller, we got it figured out, we got it hammered in. That's not going anywhere, it's nice and stable. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I took it for a little ride with a bunch of people in it and it uh, moved pretty well. Had plenty of leverage to pull on it and turn it and everything you need to do and stopping it and everything. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go on a little tour as to what happened today and what we still have yet to do and uh, new problems discovered while we were doing things. Okay, so we got these little brackets here and we screwed them in underneath with some really long four inch uh, deck screws. They're like powder coated and they'll definitely last quite a while. And uh, we got a little um, uh, cotter pin for like, um, I don't know what kind of pin it was, but I got it at uh, my hardware wear store for like $7, so it wasn't too bad. And um, so yeah, we just drilled the holes, got the 2x4 in there, and it moves really well. Um, so yeah, but this little piece back here was to do two things. One, to kind of keep these little two pieces from, um, just give it a bit more stability, and uh, so they don't pry off 
of this 2x4 and cause a whole bunch of problems but also it kind of keeps this upright instead of falling it back into the uh, the flatbed where that'll be where my cabin is and um, it keeps it off the ground and out of people's way and uh, yeah I really like it so we're gonna keep it there also um, this little string here this is really important. I can't really do anything without this little kingpin, or no, not a kingpin, but this little cotter pin here. And I don't want to get it lost, especially in the middle of the night somewhere, it might pop off. So I figure putting it, tying it to the, um, to the front axle, and that's not going anywhere. So if it does pop off, it'll just swing down there and I'm not gonna lose it. Okay, so we got the, um, got the, the handlebar where we can push and I, I set it to a point where it'll just rest on my hips and I can just push it with my hips instead of with my arms. And so, you know, my legs are going to be doing most of the work and that's what I really wanted. Um, I also got a nice little um, hole here, but it's a bit too loose and I'm not real happy about that. I'm thinking about just piloting a hole just bigger than the nail and just driving it through the top and I can just drop it in there and it holds the uh, this little thing in place. Um, so. Yeah, um, but the, you know, the good thing about this being loose, I can just pull this out and I can put a rope in here and I can just have like a whole team of guys just with a long rope and we can be hauling this thing wherever. And uh, we can haul a lot of weight with a bunch of people behind it. Okay, Ken folks, so that's, that's basically the tour of what we got done. We got that tailor crossed off the list, it works. It works pretty good. Um, there's a few minor things that we can tweak uh, given enough time after events when we have some downtime. That's not going to be as much of an issue. Um, we still have a lot more to do. The big one is the canopy. We got to put a tent or something over this, um, some sort of structure to um, make sure that I stay dry and warm at an event. And uh, I've got a plan and I think it's a good one because it's not going to cost a lot. It's not going to take very long. and um, it's actually going to be fairly light, which is great because this thing is already starting to get pretty heavy. So stay tuned for that one. I think you guys are going to really like where I'm going with that. And uh, I think it'll look really cool. So um, yeah, we have more stuff like the wagon um, wheels are starting to fall apart. I'm starting to get rocks embedded into the plywood and they're, they're starting to get beat up a bit. So we got to figure out how to fix that. And uh, we've also got to dress up the wood and distress it and round off the edges. We've got to coat it with linseed oil. We got a lot of work to do. So stay tuned, those episodes are coming and uh, there's more to come. So I um, just want to say, if you guys have liked this episode, it's been helpful to you in any way, then buy me a drink on my Ko-Fi or consider supporting me full time on Patreon. Any and all help you can send my way is so, so helpful. Um, I also sell stuff on my Etsy t-shirts these cucks and mugs i have a bunch of other stuff that are really cool i test them out and i make sure that they're primo primo quality so you're not getting junk you're getting good stuff and it also helps the channel so all of it goes back in the channel by getting better microphones better cameras all that stuff editing platforms i need all this stuff to keep the channel going keep it growing so any and all help that you can send my way i'd really appreciate it and uh, don't forget to like sub share all that jazz and all of that helps the channel as well. If you have any questions, then please, please, please leave it down in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer it. I love talking about this stuff and I love helping people. And so um, that's all I got for you today, nerds. I'm gonna send you home with that. Be humble, be helpful, and be honorable. Thanks for watching. Skull.